everybody. This is Kristen from Christopi Studios. I'm trying out a new camera angle today and the camera itself is sitting on my art table so I'm hoping that I don't jiggle or jostle the camera. Um, my lighting is a little brighter and sharper. Hopefully I won't cast too many shadows but I just want to have a little bit of a higher quality experience and the, the last few videos I've done have been taken from the side and I really just I don't care for that sideways structure so we're gonna try to do it this way so that you can actually see upright what I'm what I'm doing I've been inspired today by fall colors um, the we don't we don't have any fall colors here in mid North Carolina where I live yet however the last couple of days have just been beautiful. Today was 65 and sunny, and sorry for you uh, people on the Celsius system, that's 65 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny, but it's, it's just been beautiful. So I'm inspired by fall colors. So today, this, this particular canvas is a 12 by 16, I think. Wait, let me check. It is a... Well, almost 12. And yes, 12 by 16 canvas. And I'm going to do a blowout on this one. We're going, so I'll probably cut off the sound when I do the blowing part in a little bit. But I just want to, I just want to do a nice little kind of a Dutch pour situation in fall color. So the first thing I'm going to do is coat my canvas in this really cool metallic black. It's mostly artist loft metallic black if you're interested. So, um, and then it's mixed with Floetrol and, uh, and uh, some water. Now I'm not, because this is a Dutch port, I'm gonna try to do it as close to what um, the texture and consistency that Rinska Duna, I'm, I hope I'm not butchering your name Rinska, I'm sorry if I am. Um, started with at one point. There is no silicone in these colors. It is only the color, uh, pigment, Floetrol, and water to get to a thin consistency. I want it thin enough that I don't have much paint on my canvas when I'm done. So... just want it coated to the corners. So very thin coating just to get enough for the paint to slide across the top when I'm blowing it. And I have other colors too. All of the colors I'm using today are pearlescent or color shift. This is a pearl white. Um, again, they're all mixed with Floetrol and water to the consistency I want um, not particular kinds of paint you can get a pearl white it's basically just a craft paint pearl white metallic I'm using several different flavors depending on what I could find for cheap um, and that I wanted and then I have a pearl this is actually a, a color shift paint called aqua shift that I recently found. This is metallic orange. This is called Christmas green, metallic green, um, along with a little artist loft metallic green. This is a bronze color. I wanted it for warmth. I have silver mixed too, but I don't think I'm gonna put silver in this painting because I want it to be a little warmer. I may only use one of the greens too. I haven't quite decided yet. But what I'm going for is just the feel of fall. Feel of autumn. Just covering the sides a little bit so I don't have to worry about that so much. While the painting is drying. And again, I want the color thin enough. It, it seems like when, when I leave color too thick on my canvas um, before I start to move the color around, 
and while I'm trying to let it dry, if it's still too thick, it, it tends to run off the canvas and pull, pull my um, color off. And if I have some really interesting lacing and cells and stuff, even, even though I level all my canvases, um, the paint, if the paint's too thick and heavy, it'll pull the paint down off the side. So I really like to babysit it if it's thick, but today I'm hoping to just have a thinner result. Okay, so I'm gonna move the black out of the way for a moment. And I'm, I also want kind of a, a moving effect. I don't want just straight across colors. So I think I'm gonna start with this orange color. And I'm just gonna move it around a little snaky, snaky fashion. And then the bronze is warm. Maybe I'll do the bronze last. Let's do a little, I'm gonna do just a tiny bit of pearl white. I don't want too much white in here because it's it's a little cool and I don't want my warm autumn colors to be too, um, saturated with white. But all of the colors, as I said, have kind of a pearlescent sheen to them. Let's do this aqua. Now, let's see, this is way too much paint, but I'm gonna blow most of it off, um, around and off, and then I'll have some nice, pretty paint peelings. And I leveled this canvas, but you see how when paint is heavy, it's going to make the canvas less level anyway, and it's going to pull it toward one direction, which is what it's doing now. That's okay, though. All right, this is just a little metallic bronze. And then I'm just going to barely, barely put a touch of black on the edges. Again, I'm using way too much paint, but you know. Actually, doing Dutch pour type of stuff is relatively new to me. I haven't really done much of it. I, I'm i uh, practicing to redo a, uh, a big um, nebula pour, a space kind of pour. And so I've been doing a lot more of these Dutch pours. Plus, I just love how they turn out. Let me actually show you one that I recently finished that I just love the colors of. I'm calling it the Can Can, but I'm not sure if I'm going to paint the Can Can Dancer on it because it just looks so gorgeous. I hope there's not a glare. It just looks so gorgeous dry this way that I may just varnish it and be done with it and have a nice shiny pretty painting. Um, But we'll see. All right. So in the interest of getting this party started, I'm going to use my handy dandy blow dryer. Yes, it's relatively new, which is why it's not completely covered in paint, but we'll rectify that. what we see here. I'm going to torch it just to make sure I'm getting bubbles out and bringing forth some cells. I feel like already this is going to want embellishment later. That's really cool looking. I'll bring you down closer soon. I'm going to blow out a little bit more but I'm going to use my tiny little blower, which is attached to a USB battery because it's a USB blower, just to see what I can see. First, let me move things a little bit. Let me see where the thick parts are. Still, I may not have a whole lot. I'll go this way. 
No, I really don't. I love what I'm seeing here, so I'm just going to start my little bit. Toward me again. But I'm just trying to run some of that excess paint off of my canvas so that it doesn't pull the paint off the canvas some other way. Target a couple little spots. It's showing a lot of movement. The cells are super tiny, so it's unlikely that I'm going to have a lot of cell structure, but I'm okay with that because my goal with this painting is to get this really pretty explosion of autumn. So I, I feel like I'm accomplishing that here. So I don't want to do too much. I mean, I could try, I guess. No, I don't think I want to mess with it anymore. I think that this is going to be a beautiful backdrop for whatever I choose to paint on it. Um, but it is definitely going to be an explosion of fall stuff. Let me pause you and bring you down for a closer look because some of this is really cool. Okay. Just bringing you down for a closer look. Look at those tiny little cells in there. And there's lots of sparkle. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but I love the sparkle, especially coming out of the orange and the green. And I love that, that I wish that there was a little bit more of this aqua color shift but it's really gorgeous, no matter what. Um, pretty cool. Might end up being a waterfall in a forest scene. We don't know. We don't know. Okay, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video of a Dutch pour of fall colors, and I hope that you will look down below and subscribe to my channel as well as hit that little thumbs up button um, and hit the notification bell down there if you want to be notified of future videos. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're staying safe um, and have a great day.